I'm on the island of Maui, just a few kilometers away from Lahaina, which is the town, the historic town, which has been devastated by those wildfires on Tuesday and where the uh, the totality of those 53 uh, fatalities have been uh, counted so far. Let me just step out of the shot for you. You can see this long line of vehicles, uh, which is basically tourists and residents, people who have relatives maybe in Lahaina who were trying to get through that police barrier that is the last frontier before this road is completely closed. closed. And let me tell you, for the past few hours, the success rate has been basically less than 1% because the police are being very, very strict about who they let through, essentially only just emergency responders, uh, utility workers, because of course power has been out since uh, since Tuesday, since that wildfire burned down utility poles. So they are working hard around the clock to try to restore power in the town of Lahaina and around the greater area of Lahaina. But of course, everyone else is being turned around. As you can see, cars made uh, to do a U-turn and sent back toward the big city, which is Kahului on the island. And unfortunately, there is a very grim reason for why they're not letting anyone back in Lahaina for the time being. We heard a press conference earlier from the governor of Hawaii, who essentially said that uh, it was a matter of dignity for the people who had perished because essentially there were still bodies either lying alongside the road in Lahaina or uh, or present in residences or homes and businesses, people who had not uh, left in time, who had not been able to flee the, the blaze and who had not been recovered by rescue and, and recovery operations. So that is why uh, as, for, as of now, the authorities are saying that it will be several days before people are allowed into Lahaina uh, 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 normally.